but it, there's not an advantage. Like, you know, uh, uh, neither team, you know, w- with what Iowa State did, they played a hard fought game last night. And then, you know, so they're going to be limited today, probably what they can do. Cause they had some guys play some significant minutes and, and, uh, uh, you know what, in our situation, we'll, we'll both play Thursday and Friday will be a light day. So it, it'll be a little bit like a, an NCAA tournament game, uh, except you got to drive four and a half hours in between sites. You know, uh, that does stink, you know, that you have to do it on a quick turnaround. But, hey, both teams are playing under the same, same guidelines. So I, I don't think it'll be that big a deal. More than half of the Big 12 teams are playing this – same opponent back to back. Would you like, how would you feel about this becoming a regular no. occurrence in future no. schedules? No, I, I don't like it. I, I don't like, uh, uh, I think, I think the big 12 does a great job with schedule. I'm not complaining about that overall, but I don't like that you play a team uh, twice in the first three weeks or, of a league or, 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 or play a team, uh, on January 10th and turn around and play them on the 23rd or 27th. I, I don't like that. I, I wish there was m- for everybody because the, 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 you know, if you have one player that gets sick or one player out uh, that twists an ankle, he's missing both games against that opponent potentially. I, I wish there was a way that, that uh, you know, the games could be spaced better in some ways. And, and I'm thinking off the top of my head, OU is probably as good an example as we've had this year. Would that be right, Chris? Uh, uh, so, uh, but it seems like to me, we've done that with Iowa state multiple times in the past. Of course, we never played, you know, two games in three days, but, but, uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't think that's going to be one that any, any coach would want at all to do it that way. Hey, with COVID and, and, you know, the lack of a true home court advantage and things like that, do you know, was there any talk about maybe just playing these both in the same site and not having to do that drive for, for one team or, uh, we did not. We did not talk about the league. Never brought that up. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's either school or athletic director or, or coach would go for that at all. Right. Uh, uh, I don't think anybody else in the league would say, "Okay, this team gets <clears throat> ten home games and they only play eight road games," or vice versa. I, I don't. I don't think that would be uh, uh, that would be a level playing field at all. So that was never talked about. Hey, Coach, did you uh, have a chance to – I'm sure you've already seen these things. The NCAA has kind of changed their calendar up, how this – the tournament's going to be with Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Have you had any chance to digest that or consider what that means? Uh, are you saying they've changed it up since they've changed it up? No, I think they officially – you've known about it probably for weeks. They officially oh, oh, announced yeah, 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 today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just I, your thoughts about – I mean, you just got to get it done, right, however, however well, you do well, it? Well, if, if I'm not mistaken, the biggest thing is the – the, the 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 six versus eleven games, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or the uh, the two sixteen versus sixteen games, and the two six versus eleven games, those are going to be what what what's the first date? Those are going to be played on Friday. Yeah, Is that the first uh, date. Uh, 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 Thursday so, and Friday. They're Thursday. And so then, they'll be so, yeah. so so it'll it'll go Thursday, Saturday, Monday, for one, and the other one go Friday, Sunday, Tuesday. Is that correct? So. And, 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 and so, and then we turn around and take a couple of days off and kind of get caught back up the next week, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yeah, I, I haven't given it much thought. I, I, uh, it's longer that our guys are all have to be in a bubble. If you, if you, if you think about it and, and, and I'm not taking anything for granted at all, but you know, if you go to Kansas city and you're in a bubble for, you know, four or five days and then you go to Indy, you're going to be in a bubble for six, seven or maybe up to seven days before you even play a game so uh that will that will be a little different but we just got to find a way to if if we're one of the teams to to uh, keep our guys occupied coach with everything you guys have gone through this year and I know you can't separate the fact that the season hasn't gone maybe the way you wanted with as many wins but all the protocols and the switching of the schedules and all that stuff generally speaking I don't want to put words in your mouth it's fun to coach basketball and do to do all these things has it been fun this year, or has it been a grind? Or has it been worth it? I guess. I thought I thought November was average. I thought December was exceptional, and I thought January sucked. So that's that's kind of how I feel right now. I think February, you know, remains to be seen. Uh, uh, I I I probably, uh, you know, the the thing about it is, and and uh, 
I think it kind of goes for everybody. Part of playing the game and part of attending a game and being a part of an atmosphere is the, the celebration that can occur after wins. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, there's just none of that going on. There's, there's, there's the, the, the wins don't feel as good probably because there's actually no way to kind of enjoy them. Uh, uh, you know, Hey guys, let's, let's hustle back to the dorms and they're going to slide food under our door here in about 30 minutes. And then we'll meet out in the lobby and wear a mask. Uh, uh, that's kind of how it is. So I don't think there's that, you know, that, that energy you get probably from winning from, from outside influence that you had before, but it, 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 you're right. It's, it's better than not playing. And, and, and certainly it's been fun coaching and coaching these guys. And you brought up a, a, a very accurate point uh, uh, with our record, not being what it, what it should be. Uh, but I, you know, if we'd have played better instead of 13 and seven, we're probably, I mean, I, I hate to say this, probably 15 and five, uh, you know, we played a hard schedule and, and, and uh, the vast majority, six of those seven losses have been away from home. So, uh, and, and there's still no excuse. I'm not making excuse at all, but I don't think that that realistically, and you look at our league, anybody went into the league thinking that they were going to do what Baylor's done, except for maybe Baylor. And, and uh, we still have a chance because the league's so competitive to, to, to have a right to fight for second. Uh, uh, that could all also be seventh or whatever, but we have a right. To, I mean, we're right there to fight for second, and that's what we got to do. And, and uh, that would be a, a terrific accomplishment for anybody in our league uh, uh, to finish second with the exception of Baylor you know, because, you know, Baylor is – they're, they're, they're at, a, at a level this year that, that uh, certainly – and so unless something totally freaky happens, I can't see anybody, you know, coming close to catching them. So with Steve everything Brown you just probably. spoke to there, just in terms of chemistry and uh, what, has, have you noticed any negative effects or positive effects that the uh, weird circumstances have had on the players themselves? Uh, uh, I think our guys like each other more as people. I think that's a positive deal. I also think we get tired of each other more. Uh, I, 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 uh, I, I don't see negatives as far as personalities or not getting along. I, I see that as all good. I see that as all positive. I, I thought, I thought this spring was probably about as close as I felt to our guy, not this spring, this fall, excuse me, was about as close as I felt to our guys in, um, maybe ever. And I think a lot of that was because of the COVID situation, but also the social injustice things that's going on and we're all connected and, and, and kind of being on the same page on doing things. Those are positives. But the, the one thing about it is, when things don't go well, it seems like to me, it's a little bit harder to get away from it uh, when things don't go well, because there's nowhere to go. Uh, you know, there, there's not a, a third party that you can go to or, the, you know, that kind of stuff uh, or, or to blow off steam, things like that. Or uh, so I, I believe that I believe it's been good in some ways, but I, I personally think it's been hard on the kids. It really has. Steve Prome probably isn't feeling sorry for you this week. But with four games in eight days, are you changing up the duration or the intensity of practicing and, and lifting so that the guys are as fresh as can be? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure Kenitra. We, 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 uh, I mean, we're still going to do what we, what we do, but, but uh, yeah, the reps, like yes, yesterday, I mean, you know, the, the guy, the starters didn't do anything but shoot free throws and everybody else practiced, you know. And so, so, yeah, we're doing things a little bit different. Uh, and, and those sorts of things. And you're right, you know, Steve's going Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, uh, you know, and we went Monday, Thursday, Saturday. So they've had a, a, a tougher deal than we, we had, but you know, the K-State game got moved back to, uh, to Wednesday. And even though that may not seem like a big deal, I think that'll be a pretty big deal for our team uh, uh, and probably for K-State's team too, because they're going through the same thing. Coach, you had a full scout on Iowa State, I'm sure, since that game when they came down here or were supposed to come down here was canceled at the last minute. Uh, have they changed a whole lot since then, or what, what do they look like today? Uh, well, I actually think they're, they're better than they've been at any time this year. You know, you look at their last three games, you know, West Virginia handles us, they lose by four. Uh, TCU, who's obviously shown they can play with just about anybody, they lose by a basket last night. Uh, uh, Oklahoma, who's been red hot, it's a it's a two possession game in the last three minutes, and they end up losing by seven. So, I think that the scores certainly indicate that they're playing better, and 
they got their full complement of guys. This, this isn't the same team that played Mississippi State. You know, this isn't the same team that, that played some of those other games where they didn't have their full comp, comp, complement of people. They've, they've been hit pretty hard by the COVID uh, uh, situation and, and uh, as evidenced by the number of games that they've had missed. What are they, how many games they played in our league? Nine? And, and, and we played 12. They're three games behind, and we're one game behind. So that means they've, they've missed four games so far. So, uh, you know, I, I feel for everybody that would go through that. That could be us just as easy as them. But I think they're, I think they're the best they've been all year. Hey, along those lines, too, I wanted to ask you, you know, Baylor had to pause again. And who knows if, if all these games will get played. Uh, do you think winning percentage could or should determine the champion this year if, if it comes to that where everybody can't play them all? Well, Ed, that will happen. Matt, uh, I think that's already been determined by the league. I, and that would be something that you guys may want to investigate. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's in the public, but I've always, I've already thought that that had been determined how, how the league champions would be crowned uh, if, if everybody didn't get their full uh, uh, complement of games in. So yeah, can, I don't want to, I don't want to share with you the formula because I may be off. Sure. Uh, uh, because it, it takes in consideration the average number of games the league plays and, playing a certain percentage of the average number and, and uh, those sorts of things. But, but that's something that you guys may want to – where I think it could get screwy is I don't think it will affect Baylor. Where it could get screwy is one team plays 18 games, another team plays 14 games, and that team uh, uh, affects you know how that is affected with the seeding in the tournament and stuff like that. But this is one year that coaches shouldn't get hung up on that stuff. You know, we shouldn't get hung up on seeding the tournament. You win the league, if not, we're in the tournament. I mean, I, I, that's kind of how I, I, I look at it this particular year. You said, I think, the other day that these next two are as important uh, of games as you've played all year. Uh, can you just expand on that and explain why you think that way? Well, I, it's, um, I would say, you know, when, whenever we've won the league, uh, I've always taken the league uh, uh, two games at a time. I've always done it a week at a time. You know, this is the most two most important, and, and, and you know it's coach speak, but really it's the two most important games because it's the next two games. But I think it adds value that the same team back to back, and uh, you know, playing well or poorly, either one certainly uh, uh, creates momentum uh, uh, at a time where you need positive and you don't need negative. Uh, so I, I, I do stand. I do think there's big games we played today.